Hello. Don't know what to say. Okay, just say sometimes I'm really tired and when I'm this tired, this is as much as I can do. And which is nothing. It's lie here wrapped up in my blanket. And I find it very difficult to think and talk. Um is it yeah. uh, even oh, oh no. <laughs> Look at your picture, is that what well, you want to point in? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I got it. Um, um, I had a shower. No, it was a bath. And then I washed my hair. And then I got out of the bath. And then I was very tired. And my mum had to come and rescue me and help me up. So I was sat on the floor. She put my socks on. And. Then we came down for tea and my brother made tacos and I am very tired but in my videos I film on good days in the mornings when I have my most energy. I was makeup on and I'm cute and I am saying things that make sense and I plan it out. That's not how I am most of the time. That's like once a week. This is much more frequent. This is not very nice and I am hurty. I am kind of dizzy but because I'm so tired. It's a very similar feeling to being drunk which is why I'm, I kind of slur my words and is a struggle to make sentences that make sense um and it's a very similar feeling like you're not really connected to like the outside like your body is not really connected to you your brain but my muscles aren't really like i'm not in control but let me see if i can type something in the notes app hello I don't feel very good. At the moment, no, and <laughs> I meant to say energy. But instead I said N and I meant to click E and instead I clicked N and it was just very insane. There's some spelling problems. But I don't want to go back and fix them. So I'm tired. So the point of that was that my hands when I'm like this are not very useful. They're not very functional, and luckily autocorrect can guess quite a lot, so the messages make sense, but it is, I can't do everything. I wanted to film this to show how it feels. I talk a lot about what it's like to have ME CFS. But I don't think it can really come across in those videos because I, f I those are good days, and I think it's probably more understandable if you see how it affects me. And I don't know if this is who other people feel like when they have the same thing because it's such a weird condition that everybody has different symptoms but this is now I am when I'm overtired I'm always tired but sometimes I'm extra tired and this is me extra tired I'm going to have to go up the stairs I'm, I don't really want to do that right now so I'm going to lie here a little bit longer Okay, I haven't moved yet, but... Oh, I'm less slurry now. Oh, that's interesting. I just 
been laying here for a while and uh, you know just resting it's funny how things change so quickly it's only been like half an hour the reason I popped the camera back on is because I just had a big back spasm and they're quite painful and I move quite a lot when I have them so I wondered whether I could possibly get one on film um, and now that I've put the camera I probably won't have another one because that's generally how things work my hands are still not really working though and when I put YouTube on my phone I can get distracted and stop thinking about it because sometimes when I think about them it either makes them happen more which I sometimes wonder is is that is that me doing it you know or it doesn't happen because I'm like really focusing on not letting it happen that was on was a big one. So I had a couple in a row there. The one really big one. They're basically just like spasms in like my mid back and they kind of like ripple through my whole body. It's a really weird symptom and they happen more when I'm more tired. So just like how my neck cracks more the more tired I am, so does the back twitches. If you don't like to hear bones cracking, you can skip to the time on the screen. There's something wrong with this bit here. I don't feel right. Oh, I don't know, it hurts in here. It feels like it needs to crack so bad. I don't feel right, but I don't think it's going to go. I don't think it's going to go any more than that, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to text my mum and I'm going to ask her to help me up the stairs now so I can go and get ready for bed. The top half, the top half is way harder because my good arm is my right arm and I've had to swap my mm. stick to my left hand because there's only one mm. banister. banister. Oh, and my left arm's rubbish. Okay, so I'm now in bed. My mum made me a hot water bottle because it's so cold. I don't think it's actually cold. I think my body's just decided it's cold. I do some journaling, but I'm not sure if my hand coordination is going to be there to write. There's a lot of times when my when I lose my coordination and then I've still had to write notes for school or university or something. And you just keep trying. And it keeps getting worse and worse and less and less readable and it's a bit of a disaster so it's probably not worth it but it's quite early it's only eight i think it's not ideal to go to sleep now because keeping uh, like a fairly consistent sleep schedule can be important so you don't want it to vary too much and go to bed too early some nights and too late other nights you Obviously, some variations okay, but it might be necessary today. I'm definitely not going to make it till my normal time. I need to move. This position is not comfortable. I'm not sure I can. When I can't move, I do this. I know it's a tactic, but basically, I can't move my torso or my legs at the moment, my arms. So what you start off by doing is move things you can move, like I can move my fingers and my toes. So I start by wiggling them and then I see if I can move that wiggling up. So like I can't move my body or my arms but if I could move my fingers can I move my hands? And so you like, and then okay so my hand, you can see that movement under the cover. So now my hand can move and let's see if I can transfer. 
like transfer that movement if like can I now move my elbow my arm yes yes I can and then okay so it's the arm the arm is available and then see if I can move the joint shoulder joint which is now moving okay so like I don't know why it works but it really does okay so now this area is available but I still need to get a leg going so do the same thing again for uh, ankle and then knee, and then hip, uh, and then oh, and then I've got enough to move. And I don't know why that works, but it does. So I don't know. Try it. Give it a go. Let me know if it works for you as well. I'm in a more comfortable position and I can it's comfier and better and but I can already feel my body getting stuck in the position like it was stuck in the last one and then so when I want to move later on I will have to do the same progress process again just because I get stuck and I also don't like to be stuck I also like to like fairly frequently move so because I feel a bit trapped if I have to stay in the same position for too long so I like to move position fairly frequently so that's just my system for engaging my muscles it's like a tiny warm up to roll over or whatever I think now I'm just I'm not going to read I think that's that's a bridge too far let's be honest that's that's not very smart um, I'm just going to watch a little bit of telly, um, nothing too intense or strenuous, just something easy and then I'm going to go to bed.